for the sign of Leo. Hello and welcome to my channel for the sign of Leo. Just remember the top cards that you see, they're paired with the bottom cards and the decks that I use for this reading. I'll have them listed in the description box below. I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Leo, the recent past energy between you and your person, well, we got the Seven of Swords and it's with the Seven of Cups. Now, the Seven of Swords can be about behaving with less than ethical intentions. If you feel like someone is spying on you, you could be right. And if you feel like digging through someone else's life, Unless it's that of your minor child who has given you cause for concern. You just might want to rethink the impulse because we all know that everyone deserves privacy. Now it's with the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is about choices. It can indicate confusion, disorganization, having too much going on. There's a need to narrow your focus. When this card appears, you're probably trying to do too much and doing most of it not really well. So maybe just choose a few of the important things that are on your plate. Work through these things one by one carefully. You could start to feel overwhelmed. But remember, you can control, at least in some areas, how much you're trying to take on. So the recent past energy, Leo, between you and your person, Seven of Swords clarified by the Seven of Cups. What I'm getting is that you're involved with someone that keeps tabs on you. Your person, they watch you closely, very closely. And for some of you, it's because they have a lot of options. So they keep tabs on you. They stalk you. Just to make sure that you don't have as many options or you don't have any options. Or you're not spreading your love around like they are. That's for some of you. Not all of you, but that's what the recent past energy is showing. Yeah, you're with someone that keeps close tabs on you in every kind of way. Your social media, your your wallet, your phone. Whenever you leave, they're probably, probably behind you, driving behind you, and you don't know it. Yeah, it's because they've got options, they've got choices. They do a lot of juggling, and they want to make sure you're not doing what they're doing. That's what it's showing. And I'm, I'm not saying all of you, but that's what it's showing. That's what came out for you. So let's move on over, and let's see what's coming up for you and your person. We got the Death card, and it's with the Ten of Swords. Now keep in mind, when you get the death card in a reading, it does not necessarily or even usually indicate physical death. It's considered irresponsible for readers to predict fits physical death because we're all creatures with free will. And such things, they're not written in stone. This death card, it simply indicates transformation. It indicates change. Definitely a time of deep transformation. It could be both internally and externally in your life. Could be some situations, things, and people that you've counted on or have gotten used to may no longer be available to you in quite the same way as they once were. Keep in mind, this transition, it can be difficult for some people, even though the change is it's nearly always needed. Now, 
It's paired with a Ten of Swords, which is showing it could be a sign to be careful about where you put your trust. Because when the Ten comes up in relation to a question as to whether you can believe what a person is telling you, or, or trust that a situation is stable, well, it's a pretty clear answer of no. However, you have to, you have to keep in mind that whenever a door closes, another door opens. You're being guided to a situation that's much better for you, so trust yourself and trust in the universe. So, coming up, the Death card and the Ten of Swords is clarified by the Ten of Swords. Okay, so for some of you Leos, it looks like you're losing interest in your person or maybe just a connection. And you, you're starting to feel like it's a failure with all these swords stabbed in your back. You might feel defeated. Or you just feel you just feel like you cannot trust that the, the you could be feeling like you cannot trust that the connection is gonna be stable. Yeah, and you might just feel like it's it's ruined because you know what they're doing. You know why they're keeping tabs on you so tightly. It's because they're, they don't want you to be doing what they're doing. Yeah. They want to make sure they're the only one having fun, not you. So, you, you're not happy coming up. Coming up, what, this is the second week of November? Time is fluid, so it could go, it could be around now, it could go into, it could go into December. Yeah, so you just no longer, you're losing interest and you just don't trust the connection anymore. So let's see what's coming up for the challenge. Well, we got the Nine of Cups and the King of Cups. The Nine of Cups is actually one of the most uplifting, pleasant cards to receive in a reading. It's known as the Wish card. It can mean that what you're hoping for, what you're dreaming about, it's most likely to be yours in a brief period of time. The appearance of this card, it's about happiness, good things to come. It also usually can mean that what you want, it's likely to come into being in your life. And if you're asking a yes or no type of question, well, this is the most powerful indicator of yes. A positive yes. Yeah, relationships become deeper, they become sweeter with this Nine of Cups. It's possible. And it's with the King of Cups. Wow. <laughs> That's a lot of love here. King of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Look at all those cups. Okay, so just know whenever you see the King of Cups, and the Queen of Cups in a reading. That's that's a lot of love. And then you got it with the Nine of Cups. But anyway, this King of Cups, it speaks of balanced male and feminine energy. He holds all the positive qualities of both masculine and feminine. Often, he'll indicate a man in your life. Usually, when it does represent a live person, it's referring to a very kind and loving individual. They'll usually have hair and eyes on the lighter end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. Just know that you're supported by the universe in ways seen and unseen when you get the King of Cups in a reading. It's all about kindness. It's all about compassion. There's an element of pure and true love in your life, no matter what your situation is, when you get the King of Cups, like I said, the King and Queen of Cups, she's not here, but she's, 
she'll pop up eventually in one of your readings. When you see these two, love, 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 love. What's in the cup? Love. What are they all about? Love. So, nurture yourself and allow your person to nurture you. So, your challenge. Well, what do you think I'm about to say? It's all about love. Yeah, your person. They see you're losing interest. You no longer trust that the connection is stable. They know that they're behaving less than ethical. They know this. And you know why they keep tabs on you. But your person, they got a lot of love for you. A lot of love for you, Leos. They see you as their wish come true. Now, why do they still keep the doors open? I don't know. I don't know. But they've got a lot of love for you. A whole lot. How many cups are those? Nine, ten cups of love. Mm -hmm. So, let's see what the outcome is going to be. We got the Four of Wands, and it's with the Seven of Pentacles. Now, the Four of Wands can indicate that you could be attending some special event. It's going to be way more fun than you're anticipating. So you want to make sure that you go. You'll have a good time. If you have a business, it's likely to be going well. You'll be proud of yourself. Others will be proud of you also. Although this is a positive card to get in a reading, it does show that there's a need to keep your wits about yourself. And although you deserve and should treat yourself to some fun, just know that you're probably still in a building up phase. And now is really not the time to rest completely on your laurels. This four of wands can also indicate that you might be thinking of moving, maybe moving your place of residence. Now it's with the Seven of Pentacles, which is a card about returns on investments. It can be literal, maybe a bank account returning money to you, or figuratively, such as investments of time, effort, and energy that you put into a relationship. It's about reaping what you have sown, and this is positive. You should be feeling more secure than you have in a while. Things will be moving along, and you'll be feeling more hopeful about the future with a really, really good cause. Yeah, so if you can take a look at the picture of the Seven of Pentacles, it's the card below the word outcome. It kind of speaks for itself. You see this lady, she's watering a plant. Well, when she first got it, it was a little tiny, teeny baby. A little bitty thing she put in the palm of her hand. And now it's about, wow, maybe eight feet tall. The leaves are dark and green and rich and healthy. That's because she gets up every morning and before she goes to bed every night and she takes care of it. She makes sure that it doesn't need any need for anything. And... Yeah, she likes that she's reaping the rewards. It's grown really strong and healthy. So, the picture says it all about the Seven of Pentacles. Like I said, it's about reaping what you've sown. You'll be feeling more hopeful about the future. You might have to decide whether to put your energy into things, people, situations that you're already involved with or whether to spend your energy trying to bring more into your life. So basically, your outcome, Four of Wands, clarified by the Seven of Pentacles. So, Leos, it looks like, like I said, you, you were, it looks like 
coming up, you might be thinking about, you could be thinking about just ending the connection with the death card, or you've lost interest, or you just don't trust that the connection is stable, or that it's going to get any better. You just don't, you're losing interest. And I could see why. But your person, they love you. They love you, love you, love you. Love, love, love. If you can believe it or not, that's what that's what came out. Now, the outcome is looking like not only do they love you, but it looks like things could turn around for the better. Yeah, it looks like your person, they realize that you've lost interest, you don't trust them anymore, so it looks like they're going to try to do things to make it work, like she's doing, they'll get up every morning, do something special, and before they go to bed, they'll do something special. So that it can, it can grow. And then this four of wands, the card that's above the word outcome, that's actually the marriage and commitment card. So like I said, things looks like they could turn around. It looks like they could turn around in a positive way. Marriage, commitment, or the relationship becomes a whole lot more committed. It could go to the next level. And they're, they're going to be, they, it's saying that they're going to try to show you that they really want it to work. And just know that they've got a lot of love for you. A lot of love for you, Leos. So that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, that way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Leo, I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there. It's going to pass, and we'll all get through it, so stay strong. Take good care of yourself. Come back and join me for the next Leo reading, just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind the roles can be switched. You could be... Your person or your person could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, your person could be a friend, could be a family member, or could be a situation. So, Leos, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope you have a great day and take care. A great day and take care. A great day and take care.